The Walters stay. <laughs> it's fast. It's strong. No risk of fire. It's adjustable and it looks shit hot. So I've had a lot of people ask or a lot of contractors say, oh, I just drive a stub post in and weld it all together and that's fine, that works for me. And absolutely, if that works for you, that's, that's fantastic. But if you look over here, if we were doing this job in the middle of January or, or in Tamworth, normally from anywhere from September through to March, you know, that's an absolute hazard right there that you're, you're welding next to. So it's completely safe to put in, no welders. You don't need a good level or, or a high skill level to do it. It's just sit on the ground, put it all together, do it up. Okay, so I've had a few questions, obviously, which is awesome, about um, the fact that this is a quite a small point and will it fail? Is there enough surface area there to hold the pressure of the stay? So if you come in and have a close look at that, what it is is the 13 mil hole that we drill there is actually just a locating point. You can see the four-way stay point actually bears up onto the post and the same happens in a timber post so the more pressure that comes onto it the more bearing surface there is these four lugs around it have little steps that sit onto the pipe so you've really got to push through like 20 mil of pipe before that will fail so people ask about uh, failure of these things what if a bull hits it or something pushes against it absolutely valid the thing to remember is the more tension you have on your fence the more tension is distributed onto that stay so half a ton potentially downforce on the stay if we've got a hundred kilos of pressure on our wires very hard to move if if it does move <clears throat> then that's awesome because if it was fixed there it would be bent and broken if it's hit with enough force to move that. One of the unique features of the Walters stay and it's easy to miss is that this stay rod actually comes out through the center of the stay pipe. We've actually we've punched a slot underneath so this stay rod travels through and comes out at the center of the pipe. Now what that does is when you've got a lot of tension on here, as I said, like could have half a ton downforce on, on that pad, that means that this is under a similar amount of force. If you have this stay rod coming underneath the pipe, you're going to change the force on, on the pipe. You're going to instead have compression and tension forces, which is going to want to flex the pipe upward. And we've seen that on a few um, smaller diameter stays that have been installed, that there's quite a flex in the stay pipe when the tension comes on. Our stay is designed, and it's a pain in the bum to manufacture it this way, let me tell you, but that all the force is transmitted through the center of that stay pipe. So you're gonna have the ability to put more pressure on it. It's gonna withstand more pressure without failing. And it's just gonna look fantastic. So these pads weigh in at 18 kilos, made our own molds up. We've cut out all the, the, the material that you don't need. So we actually make the reinforcing to fit inside this raised section, which gives it a nice depth, nice and strong. We've tested them against a lot of other stays on the market and they've outperformed any other stay block we've tested. But you can still lift it, move it. Yeah, really, really happy with them. Uh, this is the other section of the fence we were talking about earlier. This is an older post that was here before. We pulled the old fence down. This, I think this is like a gas pipe probably, eight mil thick, solid chunky piece. But you can see we've just fit our wall to stay to it, no problem at all. You can put it on drill stem, you can put it on railway iron, you go in the sort of the side of the web, you can put it on timber, just to give you an idea how flexible and versatile the Walter stay is. So one of the questions you're always going to get asked is, is a one stay in bisecting the angle better or is two stays better? Look, two stays is better if you don't want to run stock around it and have them hit it or if you've got machinery in the paddock or there's some other reason. 
but a purely physical way of keeping this post in the ground, then one stay bisecting the angle is always best. This is why it works. If you look at the angles, this, this is a diagonal stay bisecting the angle. This is two stays at 90 degrees. Now, that's hard. <laughs> that's much easier. We prefer to put the stay bisecting the angle Unless, of course, you've got equipment using that or it's in the way your laneway is and you've got stock running up there. Hope that covered a, a few questions. You may not have had questions before you looked, but anyway, now they're answered. Uh, yes, we ship these all over Australia as well. There's volume discounts for 10s, 30s and 60s. So, yeah, fill your boots, happy with that.